Hello, I'm Archie Luxury, and today we're discussing one of the all-time greats in the watch world, the two-tone bluesy submariner. Greg, this is your watch. Pre-ceramic. Pre-ceramic, two-tone bluesy, non-maxi dial. And this is probably my favorite variation because we've got the solid end links. We've got the no-holes case. And most importantly, we have got the gold going through the clasp because on the earlier ones of the 16613, they had the steel clasp. Yes. And uh, I got to tell you, that gold in the clasp is just superb. Absolutely superb. Greg, I absolutely love this watch. I think the blue is sexy. I, uh, I really have a soft spot for it. And uh, I got to tell you, Greg, this is a very sexy watch. And in my opinion, I think I prefer this to the, to the Daytona. Well, yes, it's an entirely different piece. But uh, this is a sexy piece. And uh, you actually traded a no-date sub to get this. Yes. And um, this is a dream piece. Rolex prices are crazy, crazy, crazy critters. Uh, what do you think, Greg, the, the, the bluesy oh, Submariner? You I love have, it? I just haven't seen a more beautiful looking blue dial. Besides the solid gold one, of course. Well, I'm talking about the dial color. I'm not talking about the piece yeah. itself. I'm talking about the dial. Yeah. The solid gold one is a beautiful piece, but it's it's it costs double it, the it's, money. It's it's, it's ridiculous. It's a big. It's it's, it's, it's ridiculous. You're paying for gold essentially, and uh, it depends what yes. you want. Yes. Yes. Um, Greg, I think this 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 has a fine balance. Of, it's of so it. usable. It's so usable. You can wear it every day. It's got the strength of steel with the prestige of 18 karat gold finish and uh i gotta tell you this is you can understand why this watch is so so much in demand you can see why people love it can't you yeah people love it and uh and also i i, I remember a story when i just walked into rolex to have a look at what they have and i think they have a solid they had a ceramic submariner which is very rare they said this came in five minutes ago Yes. You won't see one in a boutique. And I said, well, let us have a look at it because I haven't seen one. It was still wrapped around in the plastic foil and everything. Mm -hmm. So I could just sort of feel it. It was very chunky and it was but it was beautiful. But as yes. I took it off and I sort of tried it on my wrist, it was, it was, I, I, I wore the this one. I wore the two-tone bluesy. Yeah. And even though the shop owner probably has handled many two-tone blue submariners, they don't produce this particular one anymore. No. They just have the, the ceramic one, which which, yes. is a, which is an entirely different watch. One can't really say which one is better than the other. I mean, they're different. They have a slightly different dial color, but he just took this watch and just held it and looked at it very affectionately. It's just like, oh, wow, you don't see those every day because, in the in, in, you know, they just don't make them anymore. How, how long have they been out of production now? About four years now. Yeah, something like that. So four years. That owner could have that that shop shop uh, clerk or whatever could have just had a job in Rolex for a couple of years. He looked as if it's the first time he's seen that particular model. Greg, I think it's a beautiful model because the proportions are right. I they don't have the maxi. I'm not a big fan of the maxi dial, although I don't mind the ceramic. I think they've fattened the watch up. It's put on weight and. Uh, I, I really don't think that was necessary. This watch here, I the proportions... for that. I think they added more shock, shock absorption in it or something. Oh, it's all bullshit, Greg. Don't, don't listen to those, those fuckers. No, but I'm just trying to find a reason why they did it. Oh, it's they the fashion. To... The fashion was going very big. They wanted bigger watches, so they fattened it up to make the proportions look bigger, even though it's still a 40 mil watch. They fattened it up, and uh, for no good reason, Greg. There's no good reason to do that. And uh, I gotta tell you, Greg... This two-tone bluesy is tugging at the heartstrings. I love it to death. I can't blame you. It's a beautiful watch. I can't blame you at all, Greg. That is a superb two-tone stunner. That's all I can say. Two-tone stunner. Absolutely gorgeous, Greg. You're a lucky, lucky man to own this.